Guten Tag. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday, and welcome to Chapter 6 of the epic game play of Gabriel Knight 2 that I am uh, doing with Daniel Albu. Daniel will be out in a couple minutes. Good to see a bunch of you already. Uh, the last two chats I got to look at before I, I started was Jay saying, this one's complicated. And then Ricardo saying, we need to elect someone to do a death count. So I guess I'm in, I'm in for some trouble. Because <laughs> A, I don't do well with complications or complicatedness stuff. And B, I tend to uh, make my characters die a lot. But uh, it's good to see you all. Thanks for joining. I'm super excited about playing today. I think, you know, the goal is uh, we're going to try to get through the rest of this game today and next Friday. And it might require a little bit longer uh, gameplay to do so, but we have something going on the week after that that I wanted to make sure we to keep the room there. YT Wander, good to see you. Megan, a lot of, oh, that's cool, a lot of people. It's, uh, you know, it's funny, we, we broadcast broadcast we stream on youtube and twitch it seems like most of our our followers are uh, uh more comfortable on youtube but i've got this like restream thing so i see all the comments but i never can tell who's how many people are where so anyways thanks for joining wherever you are i really appreciate it um man it's been a crazy week I mean, it's just been, it's been so, I've been so busy. I, this, this conversations with Curtis channel and project is, is, is a hungry little monster. It just requires a lot of daily effort. It's really fun, but I, I'm taking, I'm like playing hooky from work. I'm, there's all these things that I should be doing and instead I'm doing this, but, but I'm thrilled to be here with you guys today. I want to give you some announcements and then we'll bring Daniel out, and then Daniel has some fun things to share with us, and then we'll eventually get to the game. Um, all right, first announcement is tomorrow we're going to drop the June video newsletter. I just finished doing that uh, yesterday and today. That took up a lot of time. And uh, it'll just go over a whole bunch of things, but uh, quickly what we talk about is the, the updates to uh, Daniel's online uh, Phantas game, which we're calling Phantasmagoria Dimension Next, and how we're connecting it to uh, Patreon, and how now all of our Patreon members are officially WinTech employees in uh, Dimension Next. And uh, it's really fun. It's, it's really fun. And we're already starting to get some of the Patreon members sending us voicemails and uh, emails that we'll be plugging into the game at, computer, at, at Curtis's uh, computer. So uh, we, I go over that. I talk about the upcoming interviews. By the way, um, I spoke with Jane Jensen earlier this week. We had a long, well, I wouldn't say it's long, but we had a great talk. She uh, was kind enough to say yes. It was hard to get a hold of her. I'd been reaching out to her for a long time. I think Robert Holmes uh, put in a couple of good words and it finally worked out. And when I asked her to talk, she asked politely if we could keep it to an hour. And I said, of course. So, uh, but the good news is, is that she seemed to be having a good time. And so we ended up stretching it out to about an hour and a half. There were so many things that I wanted to talk to her about that I didn't get to, but we got to a lot and I think you're going to love it. And I was able to ask a lot of questions that were uh, posed by Patreon members. Don't know if I got to all you guys. I apologize if I didn't. But um, but I was looking at the clock and the conversation went the way it went. Uh, the, the exciting news uh, to share with you is that anybody who is a Patreon member right now, um, we're going to drop that conversation as soon as this video is over. As soon as we're done streaming today, you can hop on over to uh, Patreon and watch my interview with Jane Jensen. We'll release the Jane Jensen interview at the beginning of next month on YouTube. And that's kind of how things are going to work from now on. We're trying to figure out the best way to make this the conversations be available. So we've tried a couple things, but here's where we've landed. As soon as an interview is done, we're going to post it on Patreon, make it available um, sort of as a first look for all of our Patreon members. 
a few weeks later, we'll do a YouTube premiere on YouTube so that we can all watch together and we can be in the chat. I can invite the guests to join us in the chat like I did Robert Holmes and like I did David, uh, David Fox and uh, Drunken Master Paul. So that's the way we're going to do it from now on. Uh, the, the interviews will always be available first for Patreon members, but then two to three weeks later, maybe a little bit more, depending on how many we have uh, in, the, in the tank, um, will be dropped on, on YouTube. So that's kind of where we're at with that. But yeah, if you are a Patreon member or would like to join and want to see my uh, interview with Jane Jensen, then please, uh, please hop on there. Um, other interviews. Uh, so this Sunday, uh, we're going to make available on YouTube. It's been on Patreon already, but Daniel's and my conversation with Matt Van Roon, who uh, works at Big Finish Games, and they are in the process of a huge remastering of the uh, Tex Murphy, uh, one of the Tex Murphy games. And Matt was kind enough to sit down and talk to Daniel and I about the videotapes that we were able to procure from Words of Magic in, in Paris. So we got those tapes digitized and now we're trying to figure out the next step. And Matt was super helpful in talking to us about some of the things that we can do. He and Daniel got into the weeds with all the technical uh, conversations, which was really fun to observe. With like a deer with a, like for me, like a deer in the headlights. Um, but I think you guys will really enjoy that. So that's gonna drop on Sunday at 12 noon. As a, as a YouTube premiere. So please join us live if you can. We'll all be in the, in the chat and then it'll be available for people to watch. Next Sunday, we're going to drop Steve Bailey's full interview. We we're going to break it up into pieces, but we decided to scrap that. So we have like 15 minutes available on YouTube right now. But next Sunday, we'll have the whole video. I'll see if we can get Steve to join us and we'll do a YouTube premiere of that. The week after that, we're going to do V. Joy Lee. And the week after that will be the Jane Jensen interview. So, and I've got uh, I've got Andrea Allen, who plays Gerda, lined up. We're going to talk next week. Oh, and here's something that uh, Daniel and I have been talking about a little bit. He came up with a great idea, and I'll I'll, have, I'll just bring this up briefly, and then he can uh, he can join in. Uh, but we want to talk. We want to see if we can get Dean Erickson, and so we have an idea about how to maybe. Uh, maybe woo him to, to an interview. So I'll bring him out, this Daniel out, and we'll talk about that. I think that's it. I think that's all my stuff. Um, so I'll very quickly say thank you to my Patreon, to our Patreon members for making conversations with Curtis possible. And uh, I think you guys are going to have a really, really good time in Dimension Next. So, oh, Clement, you started. Let's see, I need to make sure that it shows up. There's Daniel. Hey, Daniel, how are you? I brought you in fast because I wanted to make sure Clement's <laughs> super chat. It Thank got, you, Clement. It got noticed very quickly, uh, shortly. Thank you so much, Clement. Um, I got to start sitting somewhere. here in darkness. Yeah, right. Hey, everybody, say hi to Daniel Albu. Thanks for joining so quickly. I know you weren't ready. Hi, everyone. Yeah, I, I, I pulled a fast one on you. Yep. So, um, Clement. Uh, got us 5% to our goal today. Our goal on YouTube is $150 in Super Chats. And if we if we get to that, uh, Daniel, do you want to tell them what we're going to, what, what you got, what you found that we're going to share them? Well, while searching for the TV shows and movies in which Gabriel Knight, two actors starred in, I thought to myself, why not look for stuff from, wait a minute, let me see if I get the name correctly. Paul Morgan Stetler. Yeah. I hope I'm pronouncing yeah. it right. Big moviography. Uh, anyway, if and when we get to $150 tip goal today, we'll stop the game momentarily and watch a clip of Paul from a 90s hit TV show. I have to say, um, it's uh, it's it's pretty, uh, it's a, it's pretty embarrassing, quite honestly, to show it to this thing. But it was a. Uh... In fact, I think it's we should say what scene. it is. It's a great we, scene, Paul. We have to say what it is. I think that's going to entice them even more. I was on an episode of Melrose Place. I love you. Oh, YT Wanderer, I love you too. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, chapter six hype. Yeah. So, um, so, anyways, if we get to our goal, 
Uh, I'm not sure where we are with Twitch right now. Our YouTubers are, are, have been pretty good, so we have a smaller goal for YouTube, uh, for Twitch. But um, if we do get to the YouTube goal, we will show my Melrose Place uh, up here. Guys, I've been sitting on the script for like eight months. <laughs> so <laughs> Show us the dirt, says Clement. Appreciate it. The, the, the oh, thing boy. is that sometimes... In, in order to find a specific scene, especially for the actors from Gabriel Knight 2 and basically other minor actors in, in this game, um, I always have to watch the entire episode because there's no database of in of the minutes in up. which the, the actor appears. Yeah. So I watch entire episodes of Mero's Place and you, you'll see that we're going to have an episode of Guess Who with an actress from uh, Gabriel Knight too. So, uh, all right. Well, coming up. So here we. Speaking of, let's let's. Uh, oh, okay. Oh let's boy. start. Let's start. Let's do it, James Jenkins. I'm pretty sure we'll get to that call. <laughs> we might. I don't know. We might get there. I was hoping maybe it'll be near the end and I could just slink away. Um, let's see if we get the get to that goal before the intro is over. Okay. Well, what do you want to talk to us first? I've got a whole bunch of stuff. You okay. Sent me. So, so first things first. Last week we played an old promo of GK2 in which we had the following photo. All right. Let me show that to you. And by the way, I showed this to uh, to Jane, and she got a huge kick out of it. So there's the first. There's the photo. Okay. So we. When we saw that photo, the narrator said at that point that this is the new Gabriel Knight. He sure looks right. Well, I also said something about like how the uh, he may not have the distinctive voice that, that he Tim may not Curry have has. the distinctive voice of Tim Curry, but he sure looks right. Right. Anyway, I went and tracked him down on LinkedIn because that's where Schattenjägers hang out, apparently. And guess what? He was not the new Gabriel Knight, even though he looked right. This is Nathan Gams. You can switch to the next photo. All right. This is Nathan Gams, who was an art director at Sierra Online between 1991 and 2000. Now, among others, he was the art director for Gabriel Knight 2. So I asked him a few questions about the promo and about Gabriel Knight 2. About the promo, he had to say that we filmed a technology test for GK2 for location and lighting on shoots very early in the process to see how we could combine it with our green screen treatment. I did stand in and run some lines for sound, but I sure hope that it was never put out there as any type of promo. So it was not put any of his line readings weren't put out there, but his face was, and he was even, <laughs> eh, it was said that he was the new Gabriel Knight. About the narration, he said, um, I haven't seen it since we ran it for tests a couple of days afterwards. The narrator, the narrator was mistaken. I was just the art director and never had any thought of being an actor. About the production, he said, the production budget issues and limitations in the end, especially around the werewolves, disappointed me. It was an enormous project and a credit to Jane's storytelling. I just wish Jane had not been shortchanged for the critical reveal. Interesting. And I asked him if he was the one who took all of the background photos for the game, and if he actually traveled to Germany three times in order to get those photos. And so he said, I believe that it was just twice for the project. I might be wrong. I did take a couple of photographs that were used for, I, I took all of the photographs used for compositing. The producer and I went out to scout and shoot and got many general images. Then we went back for the detail shoots. Some shoots were even done in the Bay Area. So it's not even Germany. Huh. Huh. And, and the original photos are, for the most part, pretty boring. I shot as much as possible in very flat light early in the day, whenever possible, uh, in order to avoid the commuters. Um, and he said that he'd like to take credit on the graphic novel quality of the game because they try to uh, make the backgrounds appear as if they were taken from a graphic novel, just like GK1 looked. And last but not least, I asked him about the Ludwig chapters. It was even discussed in the chat, and it's something that has been discussed for years, that there was supposed to be about 
three additional chapters in the game, uh, making it nine chapters total about Ludwig. And he said, we never storyboarded anything for that. So it may have been in Jane's original treatment. And I remember her speaking about it, but it did not make it to production beyond the backstory elements. Well, so... well, well, well. Um, Zuki, thank you. I love it. She writes accounting, reporting for, oh, wait, no, just hi. Yeah, we got the super chat goal working. I got it to, got it to work. So thank you. It was, it's not going to be as fun. I should probably turn it off and let you do it. Um, yeah, you know, the funny thing about that uh, that promo is it doesn't feel like it's made, it, it doesn't feel like it's made from uh, by... Canis, lupus, lupus. Who's that? Clement. Clement, you are on fire today. Thank you, Thanks, Clement. buddy. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Daniel, for your thorough investigation, he writes. Um, so the idea is... She didn't know about it. And I don't think this was an in-house narration. I think this was from whatever that that magazine or whatever that company was. They got hold of that and they created their own because they're making apologies for the sound and they're making apologies for um no, they're making apologies for the graphic design of the, the first graphic game. design. But like no company would make apologies yeah. for their own work. You know what I mean? That's totally a fan created thing. So so Jane was surprised when she saw that that um, uh, this guy was, uh, you know, had been announced as, as Gabriel Knight. Yeah. And, and I, I reviewed the promo several times and I've noticed that at the bottom, you can see that it was just a slideshow of images. So they probably got the images. Uh, which they shared in the promo, but they didn't get any narration or any, you know, currently you get an ad, nowadays you get an advertised blurb that you need to read out loud from beginning to end. Otherwise you won't get any early look at the game. Right. But back then they probably got eight, eight images hmm. by email, took them five hours to download. All right. Oh, and Zuki is being so good. I should say this out loud. Don't forget to hit the, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's help get the, get the word out about this, uh, these, these awesome streams. Um, let's okay, see. The second thing. Second thing. Okay. This is the video, right? The guest. Yeah. Right. And, you, and you can share it with me in the meantime while I uh, give the right, right, background. Right. Okay. Okay. The second thing I want to share today is another episode of Guess Who? in which you'll need to guess which character this actress plays in Gabriel Knight 2. Okay, hold on, let me get it all straightened out. I want you to be able to see it. All right, there's that. And let's go for it. I haven't seen this either, so let's give it a go. Dun, 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 dun. Please take a moment to sign our guest book. What? Who is this woman? Oh, she's the she's the flower. The the the, the person. Did I get it for you. The the flower. Not the flower, but the the sausages. This lady. Ah. And then the wheels came off. Arnold. Oh no! It's the I know who it is. It's the the woman who plays the uh, the you know the psychic. Yeah. No, you're right. It's the sausage lady. It's the sausage lady. <laughs> She's the worst lady. Oh, Patricia Coleman. The worst lady. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Pushing this over the halfway point, James, you did it. And unfortunately, I don't have the right. Oh, let me get back to Daniel here really fast. Maybe it'll pop up for a second. Uh, sorry, Daniel, or James, that didn't show up because I don't have the widgets showing up. Okay, so we'll have to say, Canis, lupus, lupus. Yeah, but he did push us over the halfway point, so thank you very much. Um, thank you, right. James. All right, I'm going to show the second video. Uh, yeah, and the second video is just another snippet of what I may show in full next week. Okay. Roll the clip. <laughs> By the way, just so you all know, notice how Daniel is always complaining about how this game is never going to end. We'll never finish this game. It's going to take forever. Who's the one who's providing all this stuff before the game? That guy right there. 
Jeez, so no complaints. Play faster. <laughs> I'll have more time to show things at the beginning of the episode. All right, here we go. Um, here we go. Don't don't super chat right. Oh, that's not right. That needs to go. There we go. Because I don't. I want to make sure we see it. So wait, wait, twenty seconds. Guten Tag. I mean, sorry. <laughs> Joanne. Joanne. Go ahead and walk uh -huh. around here. And how come paw prints found at the scene indicate an animal much larger than the escape, uh, than the shit, than the <laughs> goddamn it, or than the. the... <laughs> it's better than the original scene. They should have left it in. Oh my God, we have to watch it again. I love, I love bloopers so much. We have got to watch it again. A, I just fell in love with Joanne, make, watching her make a mistake and just she was so sweet about it and then i love what what dean does here oh i could see a, an hour of these i have 13 talk. minutes I of mean, these sorry oh <laughs> <laughs> straight around here and how come paw prints found at the scene indicate an animal much larger than the escape uh, than the shit than the <laughs> god damn it than the <laughs> The best part was the is the reporter. She's staying straight faced the whole yeah, time, and she continues the scene as if and she, she doesn't know. Yeah, or else she was. I wonder what she said. She might have just had a really funny response. I wish we could have seen that. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, the, the The original scene is even more ludicrous than this. So maybe she thought this was the actual scene. This yeah, is what right. He had to say. Oh, that's hilarious. That so is basically crazy. everyone say me where where I got that from, and I can't say. My sources are are um, under wraps at the moment. Okay. Uh, I'll just say that I was young and I needed the money. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, I've got 13 minutes of this and, and I might share it uh, next week in full Excellent. for a final episode. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So I'm going to get rid of those and I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just getting rid of some of the stuff so my computer doesn't get... Uh, all right, cool. Let's play this game, huh? So how do I get back to, um, how do we start get... the game and then click the icon of, uh, the movie. You got, the, um... Oh, just start the game from not, yeah. not from... from chapter six, because unlike Phantasmagoria 2, in which you can replay every video that you've watched during the game in Gabriel Knight 2, you can only watch the ending movie and the intro of each chapter. Wait, so we should have talked about intro. this before. So am I, uh, do I, uh, reload the game that we had with grace in the dungeon. Okay. I got that right here. Okay. Now, Okay, and so here we are. Below, below sure the, the inventory icon, you have the movie icon. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. And you can click that. I think uh, the game might be a little bit loud, so I'm going to change that really quick. Loud? Yeah, I think that's going to be better. <clears throat> All right, so what do I do now? I can barely hear it. Click the movie icon the below movie. the inventory icon. Uh, Now let's watch the intro. Okay. Sounds and good. this time, watch carefully. Okay. I'm going to watch carefully. You got. You guys all watch carefully too. I'm not going to look at the chat, even though it looks like it's really fun. Okay. I'm going to watch this thing. Dun, da, da, da. Well, now I'm worried that I turned it down too much. No, I think it's going to be fine. Opening movie. Shush. Wolf. 
she's in love with a wolf. You have a black wolf. Yeah, found that. That's that guy. There's the black wolf. He's the black wolf. Why? Oh, I can't kill him on my own. Two wolves are missing from the zoo. Now the werewolf cannot harm the better with his own hand. It's a little confusing because he has a beard now. I know he's getting all of Wagner's yeah, score. Yeah, look closely at where he places each one. Oh, good call. Yeah, I would have totally forgotten. Okay, one's in there. I'm going to have to get that a little later. Good call. Oh, I'm in that. Yeah, I'm back in the... Well, that's a funky little spot. All right. In the blue room bottom of the floor oh, by the red dress lady blue room red dress lady is that a lady oh it's red something look at that wig that's worse than that's worse than curtis's mother's and then we're in the chapel there's a lion at the watering hole Thank you, Anonymous. You're making me miss important moments. Oh, we couldn't get rid of it. So, wait a minute. He's the king. We can't just take the king. They can and they do. All right. It's the first lady. She gives him. Give this letter to someone. Tell her to put this. Is my heart. Yes. Tell to it him. Okay. Yeah, that's right. His heart was. His heart was extracted from his corpse. And then he goes. So who's that dude? This should be a widget. <laughs> totally, yeah. When someone subscribes, <laughs> get out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, hey, let me know, everyone, how the sound is 
from the game if it's too loud or if it's okay. Now, several things that I want to <clears throat> clarify that that in the previous episode, <clears throat> um, you know, we both looked at the chat when this uh, intro uh, movie was starting, and you started, Doc, you wanted to ask whether it's Wagner's opera, and you didn't complete that sentence because you probably read something in the chat. Maybe. And you asked if that's <clears throat> Wagner, and I understood that you talked about the opera, and I said yes. So people think that we thought that it was Wagner in the intro, but it wasn't. It was Ludwig from Beverly's 90210. So, well, here's what I that. would say. Here, I've got I've got thoughts that I've got to. So, our questions too. Yeah. Um. So he shows up to Gabriel. Let's go over here for just a second. Um. He shows up to Gabriel in a dream. And he's clean shaven and young. He's the young Ludwig. And then he says, he sort of points to watch, watch this vision. And then the vision is now of a still fairly young person with a beard. And so it immediately makes me think it's got to be someone else. If it's, if they're not making a big show of seeing him at an, you know, at a later age. So that's why I think, why I feel like I, I was confused and I imagine other people were confused. Um, the other question that I have, A, and also that wig is, my God, Sierra Online. Horrendous. Should have, they should have, they should have, hi- there are some really good wig makers in Seattle. They could have, they could have hired some. Anyways. No, um, but in Fantasmagora too, they use the bad wig for yeah, I know. Curtis's mom. For, yeah. And I, so. I don't know which is worse. But um, then, then, they went to, so they, they came and grabbed him. So mm-hmm. usurping the throne, I suppose. And they bring him into a, a carriage, but now he seems like he's, he doesn't seem like he's a prisoner. They've grabbed him. He's and a they, prisoner. But they grabbed him and they brought him to the carriage. He calls the woman over, says, put this with my heart. So we know that his heart is going to be away from his body. And we'll have to find that later. But... Then all of a sudden we're in the water. How did he get to the water? And who's the dead because guy? Because that that that's where Ludwig died. Well, yeah, I know. But no, how the, do... the, the memorial, basically. Well, how did he die? How did he go from that carriage to sit by himself in the water with a dead man floating? What was something happened in between those two moments? I don't know what happened. Well, we'll get several answers soon. Oh, that's one thing. Right. And first of all, I want to discuss further after you read your emails for today then we'll discuss what happened oh i have emails i mean i have i have mail to read yeah all right i guess it's time to play huh all right let's do it let's do it uh escape exit and now by the way someone mentioned a uh, gabriel scar now one thing that mm. bothered me all these years is that gabriel scar is on the wrong hand Oh, yeah. And tell, talk to me about Gabriel. Why was he? Oh, by the way, I think we had two two super chats. Well, Gabriel is turning into a werewolf oh. ball. Because he got scratched by that guy, right? By Von Zell, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's turning into a werewolf. So the no yeah. isn't necessarily... Oh, it was the realization that I'm a werewolf now. That I'm... That, that, that no, I can't believe it happened to me. And get out is get out because I'm going to turn into a werewolf and kill you. Mm-hmm. No, it's the realization that he got to chapter six when he thought that the game would end after chapter five. I know. <laughs> James. All right. James is saying, let's do it. I agree. Let's go. All right. I'm going to start. Um, uh, I'm going to. Can I just look around or do I have to do something first? Mm-hmm. Disco dance. Disco dance. Disco dance. Thank you, Dan. Von Glauer is in the picture in Ludwig's locket. locket. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was Von Glauer. Oh, because he's mm-hmm. been around for like 100,000 years or whatever. Okay, mm-hmm. gotcha. I wouldn't have known that. Thank you. All right, I'm going to look around here. Let's go see how Gabriel's doing. Maybe he's going to be a werewolf. Okay, we started almost 40 minutes after we started. Uh-huh. Grace? Uh-huh. I'm right here. What's up, Grace? I fucked up. 
Hey, we got an F-bomb. I know. It's okay. How did you screw up? It's not okay. He got beaten. Not even close. How'd you find me anyway? How'd he get beaten? He killed Bon- he killed Bonzel. I a deed of entitlement to issue to the Black Wolf. It came in yesterday, and Von Glauer's name was on it. I threatened Werner Huber's life unless he told me where you were. Yeah, well... Unfortunately, your cavalier arrived too late this time. Well, if you hadn't been such an idiot refusing to tell me where you were, I might have been able to save your little butt days ago. Mm. Well, maybe I'd rather have it chewed off than have to deal with your gloating. You ever think of that? Uh-huh. Forget it. We have to deal with things the way they are. Do you remember what you kept talking about on the way over here? That vision of Ludwig? Yeah. Believe it or not, it may help us out. I'm going to go check on some things. Mr. Smith will watch over you. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's a good camera angle. Okay. Like him again. No, I got I've just gotta think this through. So he's why why is he so she brought him here. He was but he went back to his when when he woke up and was screaming, he was back in his house, right? Where where he's staying. He wasn't on this bench, was he? No, he was in the at the Huber farm. Was the, and, right. and he was brought here. How did he, so how, once, once he killed Von Zell, the last thing we saw was them just walking out of the bushes together and then. Yeah. And Von Glauer got him to the Huber farm and then Grace got him here. She said on the drive here, you said <clears throat> that. Yeah. I heard that part. Okay. But how does he feel like he screwed up? Cause he, he, he because he got beaten by who beaten as in on the foot by a werewolf. Not beaten as in in a fight. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so he. Yeah, OK. All right. Got it. So got now it. he's turning into a werewolf. All right. So that's how he screwed up. Yeah, I guess that's a that's a pretty good fuck up. Um, all right. I'm going to click on me. You just left him. Why don't you just stay? Burning up. It's good condition for hell. You're going to be fine. Oh. Not the hair, Grace. <laughs> that was great. I was about to say the same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice. I'm I'm warming up to to Grace. Now that she's with her her honey bunch. Now after the blooper, I think that Grace is nice. I do too. When I want... she broke character, and we saw the real I want to Joanne. talk to Joanne. I'm dying to talk to her. Um, all right, another one. I don't want to disturb him. All right, I did figure that might be the case. All right, here we go. Two spots, two areas. What's that? That's the church in the square. That's a pigeon. That bird seems to like it here. Hmm. Does that bird tell me anything? Oh, uh, Daniel, why don't you talk about our uh, our idea to entice Dean Erickson to join us? Yeah, as you all know, um, I'm the bad cop in this good cop, bad cop situation in which I think we should annoy Dean into coming to conversations with Curtis, while Paul thinks we should be more diplomatic. 
Now, uh, I think that we should create a, a video in which I will talk and Paul will talk and hopefully uh, you guys will also join in and we'll create like a five minute video of uh, people asking Dean to come uh, to conversations with Curtis. So that would be awesome. It'll either go uh, very well and we'll get him or it will go horribly wrong yeah, and we, we'll never get him. Yeah, which we weren't going to get him anyway. So yeah, the idea would be and I'll have this in the newsletter, uh, video newsletter tomorrow, is to record just a, you know, 10, 15 seconds of you saying, hey, Dean, please come on Conversations with Curtis or some quick little comment. And then we'll edit those all together. I'm not going to take part in that. I'm going to take all of your edits. I will reach out to him independently and say, hey, here's what everybody's saying. And maybe you could join us. So, um so yeah, if you want to, it'd be great to have you guys join us. All right, I, I don't know where I'm going, except I think I should always go into the, the, the bar. Read your mail. Read my mail. Well, too late, I'm in the bar. Maybe I can read my mail Stop. before I say hi to us. What's that? Stop it with the bar. Read Why? your mail. Why? I got a we person need... here. Why would I not know? What, you, you're Okay, either you're just going to try to get me through this game without me... No, I, I, specifically, I want you to read your mail because after you re read your mail, we can discuss what happened okay. in the intro video. All right, Grace. Here we go. Gracie, you decided to come over. That's great. Good and tag and all that. I'm sure you and Gertie are hitting it off. Thanks for finding uh -huh. the werewolf book. I'm not sure what it all means, but it might be useful. But Ludwig II, you know, I think you might have something there. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Grau says there are two places you should check out. Ludwig this isn't your mail. Called New Swan something, and there's a Go to the post office here in and get your mail. Something like that. Oh, there's no point in reading an, um, uh, a letter from Gabriel. We have Gabriel in the dungeon. All right. Well... We have to decide whether I'm going to try to play this game or you're going to just talk me through it. Those are the things we have to come up with a decision here. I can go either way, but we need to no, stick after, to after our After you plan. read your mail and we discuss the intro uh, video again, okay. you're then, on your own. <laughs> I'm going to bed. <laughs> no, no, you're not. Grüß Gott, Frau Nagimor. Grüß Gott. Haben Sie etwas für mich? Not for Sie, but for the Schattenjäger. For Gabriel, what is it? I'll take it to him. Ich bringe es zu ihm, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, she seems like she's read it too. You're not supposed to read other people's mail. All right, I got to read it now, right? Reading. Let me go stand by the fountain and give it a look. It's a letter from Von Glauer, and he sent the Ritter talisman back too. Okay, here we go. Gabriel, I know you are very ill right now. The change is always painful. Mm -hmm. I went through it myself when I was only 12. We got a lot of pages. And I did not even know what was happening to me. I'm sorry I'm not there to help you, but I have a pretty clear sense that you would not welcome my presence. You are safe in Rittersburg. For now, that is enough. Let me speak then of the future. You hate me now. I know this. But I have some hope that by the pass of the second moon, when the sickness wanes and the blood has inflamed the greater part of you, you will see things differently. Okay, this is great. Nine more pages. No, before we do, a couple things I want to say. Hey, I just noticed that we have surpassed our Twitch tip goal. And I just want to make sure, I, I'm worried that I don't see what Twitch is telling me. And I want to make sure that we are acknowledging the folks that have, have gifted. So Daniel, if you can, since I'm running OBS over here, if you can just double check to make sure we've said our thank yous well, to those awesome none of people. them none of them appear in the chat so they tip directly so it should appear on stream elements okay well i thank you twitchers for for the, your your goal uh, for your for your help busted our goal out still getting getting close to the getting close to the super chat one um couple things 
uh, when I listened to an interview, that, that interview that Jane did with, um, P, is it named Peter? And, uh, yeah. and uh, Dean. Peter yeah. was, he, he talked about how he had just or learned English. He had not, he was not very, you know, uh, fluent in English when he got this part and he got these huge, you know, um, monologues and stuff. And he was just, he said he was just stressed out that he wasn't going to be able to say it well. So listening to his voice is really impressive how, how excellent his English is for someone who had just learned it. You, you people who learn more than one language, I, my hat goes off to you. You guys are amazing. Um, Okay, here we go. Let's go to page two. You will need me then, and I think you will want me then. Mm. It is for hope of this that I did not oh, have you destroyed boy. the night you were Thank bitten you, by Ron. the tail. Thank you, Ron. I could have done. You were passed out for hours at the lodge. It would have been a simple thing to wake the men, show them Pontella's corpse, and make up a story that would enrage them enough to kill you. I did not. Let that be proof of my true desire for friendship with you. Friendship. I have desired companionship for more years than you have lived. Yeah. You will need me then, and I think oh. it would have been ah. a simple thing sorry, to sorry. wait the man. Okay, here we go. Next one. I have even very rarely taken the risk and changed others, but the blood was always too much for the brain and my chosen one ended up dead or mad this is why i started the hunt club it was my idea that if i could first indoctrinate men's minds to the religion of tooth and claw mm. that they then might be prepared for the change as you have seen it did not work Moncel was the best of the lot if he had turned out well i would have taken the others but there's no point in even trying with them now. Well, one bad apple for the ruin the bunch. But you are different. You are a ritter. Your blood is already supernatural. Mm. Yes. I know of your family. I have studied much over these long years. When we met, I thought somehow that you would not be destroyed by the gift. You have an enormous streak of the beast in you. And you are innately strong in the occult. You will be powerful and beautiful in the change. I am sure of it. I did not intend for it to happen so soon and in such a way. But perhaps fate has its own reason. But how confused you must be. Yeah, we all are. You may feel I used you to dispose of Bonsell. I did. Ooh. He had to be taken care of, and you obligingly showed up. What was I to do? I am too old not to have learned at least this much about the light. You cannot shut it out. Better to let it in and let it simply dim to adjust to the relative brightness inside. Think well on these things as your body adjusts. Think about meeting me in Munich in two months' time. We can leave Germany if you wish and go anywhere you like. I will teach you how to hunt, how to live safe and well. Sounds pretty good. He wants to live with Gabriel and Jocelyn. On your face, <laughs> taste the heartbeat of the kill beneath your jaws. It is glorious. Much more so than the priestly lie the Schattenjäger offers. Don't confuse yourself with ideas of good and evil. Nature shows us that there are no such distinction. You and I both inherited something from our fathers. Wait, this isn't it. Oh, is your legacy any less of a curse or blessing than mine? Join me. All right. Friedrich. 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 Boy, he's, he's got a sexy voice. Sex in. Good writing. Uh, um, Hi, sweetie. Wow. Hello. Hi, James. Hi, sweetie. There's Jocelyn. Um, thank you Over so 100. much. Over 100. Oh, my gosh. You're going to watch Melrose you, Place. This is crazy. All right. Uh, I want to go in and talk to the, the, the lady here now.
right. Yeah, what, what were you going to tell me? Yeah, tell me some stuff. Learn okay. learned that uh, Von Glauer was, if you recall, we, we read the book about werewolves and lycanthropy and all of that. And they had a segment about, a paragraph about the alpha werewolf and the beta well, werewolf. So here we learn that Von Glauer was the alpha werewolf. Right. And Von Zell was the beta werewolf. Okay. Which is why he could, that's why he couldn't harm Von Zell and he needed us to kill him. Right. And now... Because in the book, it said that any harm done to the beta by the alpha will also be inflicted by, on the alpha. Ah. So if he would have killed him, then kill he would have killed himself. And if you, if you recall, we even tried shooting Von Glauer. You, you remember uh -huh. when, when we tried to shoot him? And uh, in that scene, you can see that Von Zell, as a werewolf, is pointing <laughs> kill him. Uh, toward, yeah. Yeah. And so why didn't he kill Von Glauer? He just did, it, it, seemed like he didn't, it seemed weird to try to he, he decide not to. He just disobeyed no, our... He had the upper hand. He wouldn't have killed Von Glauer. We would have shot him. Gotcha. Start dying in game. It will get crazier. Okay, Clement, you got it. Um, so basically, since the alpha werewolf, which is Von Glauer, still lives, and we got beaten, then uh, we're becoming a werewolf, mm -hmm. which means uh, we're kind of his beta. He can't kill us now. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want to. He right. wants to live with us. Right, right. And Jocelyn and Trevor. And that's it all right all right well all this almost hour of a talk i think i actually have to give it over to a very very quick 45 second conversation with daniel daniel next time i have to i'm going to create your own little scene where it's just you yeah it's going to have we'll a promo yeah conversations with daniel all right but in the meantime here you go i'll be back in a minute since i don't have that i'm going to just do this uh, where am I? There I am. All right, see you in a bit. So if you guys have any questions or want to see my Monkey Island mug, now's your chance. James asks, how do I feel about the new Monkey Island? Well, I'm looking forward to it. I don't mind the art style. The fact that it's Monkey Island is enough for me. Graphic adventure games have never been about uh, the graphics. They've been about the story and, and the gameplay. We've played Maniac Mansion back in the 80s, so any art style is fine by me. Clement asks, how many times I've played uh, Gabriel Knight 2? I've played five times. One in the 90s, one in the early 2000s, no, three times in the early 2000s, and one when the pandemic started, I played it again, so five times. And Zuki asks, how frustrating is helping someone through the game? Well, it's not frustrating, it's fun. Um, I wish I could relieve all of these games for the first time, so it's nice to see how people relieve it, people play it for the first time and see their reaction. Um, Jetil, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. What's right. your favorite Monkey Island game? It's Monkey Island 2 LaChuck's Revenge. All right, enough about Daniel. Let's get to this back to this game here. All right. Uh, and Dan asks if I like Wagner's music. I like oh, Wagner's nice. music, uh, but unfortunately, um, we cannot play Wagner's music in official government ceremonies in Israel because. Uh, Wagner is associated with the Nazi regime. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was not a good guy. That's a, that's a big thing about talking about Wagner is the idea of can you appreciate someone's art? I'm a victim, without, too. Oh, Clement, you're not a victim. You're going to make me a victim. We're getting so close. Um, awesome. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Here are five Canadian dollars for the five times you played the game <laughs> today so far. Um, no, in general, they asked general. me how many times I played Gabriel Knight 2. Oh, I gotcha. Uh, all right. So am I playing? I'm playing. Here we go. 
Off I go. I feel like I have to talk to her. Sit down, Grace. Okay, we got some questions to ask. All right, she's got some information, I'll bet. Tell me about Gabriel. Gabriel seems awfully sick. Of course he does. His body's fighting that blood something fierce. You know, dear, I wouldn't count on Gabriel being pleasant or even cooperative. He is quite literally not himself. You think I shouldn't really let it bother me that he's being such a butthead? Don't worry, he's always like that. It will get worse. Do you think that we really need to keep him locked up in there? It seems so cruel. He'll be more at ease knowing he's locked up in there and can't harm anyone if he does change. I suppose so. His only chance now is the destruction of his maker. Ooh, we gotta kill Von I know. Glauer. So you kill Von Glauer. If if we kill if Von Glauer kills... If we kill Von Glauer, it's the same as if Von Zell would have killed Von Glauer. We would be fine and he would die. Gotcha. But Von Glauer can't kill Von Zell. That's, that's the trick. Is and Von... can't kill us because... He can't kill us because now we're Von Zell. Got it. All right. Emil will watch over Gabriel in the dungeon? Yes, dear. Besides, you have other things to attend to, don't you? Yes. The opera. And the diagram. I have to get them. Do you think you'll be able to do that by yourself? Just watch me. Uh, she's got some spunk again. Okay. What is she going to be able to do by herself? I was looking at the chat. <laughs> do you know anything about El Totting? Yes, it's a pilgrimage shrine. Emil and I have been there but I didn't know about the hard urns at the time. It's one of those places that vibrates with spiritual energy. It's and very a, strong. And a note. I think they had the first miracle in, oh, about the middle of the 1700s. There's another the one coming. Black Madonna herself is much older than that. Black Madonna herself. Okay, so the heart urn. Miracle. That's coming up. We got to find that. We got to get Von Glauer's letters. We got to get Wagner's score. We got a lot of stuff to grab. There's something I think you should see. Oh my. Has Gabriel seen she read this? She these 10 pages real fast. No. Well, my dear, I understand your reluctance, but it's his karma, you know? It's his choice. He's the son, you know, Von Glauer. He's the son of Von Rolick. Yes, I think you're right. And he wants Gabriel. So it seems. But that doesn't mean Gabriel wants that life. He didn't ask to be bitten. <sighs> you don't know him like I do. <laughs> Running on all fours wouldn't be a big stretch. I won't tell you the choice will be an easy one, but it's a battle he must fight. All you can do is believe in him. That's all you can do. Oh, yeah. Now you be careful. Where's the, where's her husband? He left her. She can't give me any more advice now. No. Werner looks about as interested in talking to me as I am in talking to him. Nothing more to pretty do better. here. All right. Let's go. All right. Uh, should I go into the... Let's see. What else? Is there anything to do here? There, there's all... These are all the things. I'm in a new chapter. Oh, boy. Ah, I have a scene. Clement, man. You were just, you're awesome, buddy. Thank you. Von Relic and the Battle of the Talisman. The Plastic Talisman. <laughs> Von Relic. Von Plastic. Oh, okay. This just brings me back in the dungeon. Okay. Well, I hadn't seen that scene before, so I probably am not going to have anything more to say to him at the moment. I don't want to disturb him. 
Okay, but that got me. That was new. There's nothing else to see, right? Okay, no worries. All right, so that gets me in there. What about this dude? Is there anything to... The mayor? Is there any reason to see him? Mayor Habermas probably has his hands full. All right, all right, so... To pay your taxes. Um, you can, you're more than welcome to tell me not to, but I would probably go check out the church because it's a new, it's a new chapter and that's an area that we can go to. So do you think I shouldn't go to the church? Well, maybe we have something else to do at the moment. Something else. Well, but yeah, but, but would you say don't go to the church? Is there nothing in there? You're not going to tell me that. Well, as... As, as a gamer, I would have gone to the church. Right, you would have too, right? Would you have? Yep. All yep. right. So let's 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 stick with the gamer's newer newbie's intuition, even though it's not probably what you've all learned after playing five playing it five times. All right, we got all that. Joseph gets this is. The, all right, let's see what's up. Uh huh. She's not gonna let me talk to her, or is she? I don't want to disturb Dang. her. Well, then I guess I have to go. This is, um, uh, so Chris, if you're there, Chris, Chris, Chris Dodalu, um, he shared a, uh, a video, a really cool video with uh, Jane Jensen that I shared with her and that you'll all get a chance to see. And he had gone to these uh, locations. And so I just felt like I saw just a day ago, I got to see this entire, the inside of this church, the actual no, I church. Think, I think oh, was he, a different one? he went to locations from Gabriel Knight 3. Oh, is it 3? Well, it looks like this church. Anyways, it was gorgeous. And I... Yeah, they all look the same. <laughs> That's true. Can I go in there? Is there anything for me? Nothing for me. Jürgen Ritter, 1403 to 1461. All right, all right. So these are all the Ritters. I don't think I need to see all these guys again. All right. Saw them all, nothing in here. Maybe so, there's a heart or something. Well, I know, I, I, I'm i gonna have to go. The heart's not in here, is it? The heart's oh. like at a, at a different location. Where was it placed? I don't know, where was it placed? I thought I would just look on the map and there would be like a thing on the map. <laughs> Heart. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it in here? Well, or... If you recall, someone placed it over here. Penis, lupus, lupus. Oh, James. Can we just stop and acknowledge the amazing mood music Robert Holmes drapes over this? It's it's true. The, the whole... The whole thing is, is so good. So I'm not sure if you guys are gonna, the mood of me zip, oh, there's something right there. Those look better. Oh, <laughs> those are the, well, wait a minute, there's nothing in here. So do I have something? Never mind. Yeah. let's go, let's go to Schloss Ritter. All right, let's go to Schloss Ritter. And that's the house, right? Yep. All right. By the way, I wondered how come Phantasmagoria 1 was so short when it had um, one extra CD as opposed to Gabriel Knight 2. Now, they were released around the same time, so it's not like video compression got a lot better, Gabriel Knight 2. And then I realized that in Phantasmagoria, you had oh, a Gabriel? lot of... Is it going to be all right? Gerda. He'll be fine, Gerda. Let me know if I can help. Sure. Otherwise, I'm Thanks. stuck at this desk. All right. Now, Phantasmagoria contained a lot of scenes that weren't mandatory because the game, as you saw, wasn't linear. You could have just explored the... the um, you could have explored each room over and over again and each time you'd have something different but it's not mandatory and in addition to that you also had videos of uh, videos repeated between cds because you could pick up something in chapter two or three or four 
and in this game you don't have any repetition you have everything you need to do in chapter one then you have everything you need to do in chapter two that's why the game is twice as long i think you know talking to jane last uh, this week uh, it was really just it, it hit home to me that they made uh phantasmagoria one uh gabriel knight two and phantasmagoria two within a year of each other three games three hfmv games that people still talk about the reason we're all here right now uh that they all made in less than two years it not only mm -hmm. made and she even wrote this script she said she didn't have this idea when when ken williams said hey let's do another gabriel knight this one first one sold she didn't even have a clue what she wanted to do she just had to so she wrote it within the time it's it's amazing her the output these guys did all right this is new let's check this out bedding i haven't even why do you have to aren't people supposed to put the sheets on for you hmm wait a minute gerda well what is that she picked up she picked up a piece of sheet do I have it? Is that the sheet? Yep. All right, let's take a look at it. What's going on? Fresh sheets. That was nice of Gerda. Yeah, why? Fresh oh, Why sheet. do I have them? Oh, I'm going to need it to smuggle something out. It's like a pillowcase. I'm going to use that. I have it now. Is that all I needed? Yep. Really? Get out of here now? Yep. I don't need to go mm -hmm. and look in all the places and sit down and type anything? Mm. All right. You don't have time to do for that. No, we don't have time. We've got stuff to do. All right, I'm going to skip past some things, actually. Boom, look at that. Boom, boom. No. We're going to finish the game in 10 minutes. No, we're not. We never do that. Do I have, when do I ever get the keys? Do I ever get the keys to this? Do, oh, I have the keys. <laughs> yep. I got them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. All right, so where to? I'm gonna ask for a hint. Everybody, you gotta go everywhere. Okay, where am I? Where's the you are here? Uh, let's start over here, I guess. We're, you're in Rutgersburg, because we're from there. Oh, but I still have stuff to do. But here we are. We'll come back, ooh, I haven't seen, have we seen this before? No, it's a new location. A new location, church exterior. Allotting. Oh, we had talked about that. Um, mm -hmm. Allotting was something to do. I think this is where the heart is, probably. No, someone asked a question about allotting on Discord. And? As a question to Jane, he said that he he was either from the... I think oh, he was right. from allotting, and he asked how she heard of Yeah, of I, asked, I asked that place. question to her, and she was able to... So there's an answer there. But didn't... Um, didn't uh, Grace just mention it to uh, Mrs. Smith, and Mrs. Smith said something specific about allotting, but I can't remember. Oh, totting, sorry. Totting, yeah. Okay, let's go on in. What do we got? Now we're inside. Okay, that was fast. Gabriel Knight doesn't... Mm -hmm. Disco dance! Disco dance! Disco dance! Zuki, check out Robert Holmes's daughter's band. Amazing. I hear she's amazing. They, they've done work together. Yeah, I've heard she's really good. Uh, all right, let's check out this. Ooh. These all say Maria hat gehelfen. Mary helped. These all. Okay, good to know. Mary helped. Um, what's this? Oh, we're hearing a prayer in the background. Silver body There's parts. There's a sign at the bottom. Okay, good, good, good. Silver body parts. Penitent offerings. A replica is made for the part of the body you wish to have healed. Hmm. The replica is offered to the Lady of Al Totting as a token of faith. Yeah, this has to do with his heart. And we're going to find his, his note in here, I'll bet. And his heart. What about this? Anything else? Oh, cool. I suppose the crosses are gifts from the cured. Or are they another means of petitioning the lady? Will we ever know? Huh. So I did that. I did that. 
that takes me out. I think that, oh, what's, what's that? That's, that's me. Grace Nakamura. Grace Nakamura. So I exit that way, exit that way, or exit that way. I can't exit this way. So, and I don't know which way I came in. I've lost, there's no perspective of where I was. I think I came in from there. So I'm going to go this way. Anything to see here besides these doors? No, let's check out the doors. I'd better wait till the service is over. Okay, so I got work to do before I go. All right, so in that case, that's an exit and that's an exit. Is this where I just came out of? No. There's no perspective. I don't know where I came yeah, from. Yeah, you can where... go left. Okay. Hello. Oh, boom. We got a new one. That's it? Okay. Are they gonna, I hope they can finish their prayer soon. Here we go. Grüß Gott. Is it possible to see Ludwig's heart earn? Das oh, silence. Das Herz Das Herz für Ludwig des Weiter von Bayern? Haben Sie das Herz? Huh? Which language are Sounds like hurts. two words, three syllables. He's taking I, a vow of no, silence. No, not my no. heart. I'm no. not sick. <laughs> Here, have a prayer. Thanks. It's uh, Dr. Harburg's business card. That's it? Do I have... Do I have that card? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Getting closer. Oh, what's up, Jay? Token of faith. Thank you. Oh, snap. What? James did it. James, what? Who did what? Oh, no. Let's stop the game, Paul. All right. Um, I got it. Wait, let's read this first. If you oh, have a special prayer to make or wish to place a penitence offering, oh, I can boy. lead you to the shrine. <laughs> Over 150. Well done, everybody. Yeah, thanks, you guys. That's awesome. All right, let's, uh, here, I have to, how do I stop this from making so much noise? I'm going to just, oh, I'm going to save. I need to do that. Yeah, save it. And now we're uh, with um, mute uh, priest. All right, save that. Oh, but now I just want to, shoot, that screwed everything up. All right, let's just load and we'll leave it alone for a second. All right, let's do this thing. Um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, here we go, dudes. This is, <laughs> I found a different one than you sent me. I had, I've had one, I've been sitting on one for a while, so it's a little bit better quality, but I will, I will stop it. Um, all right, you guys, my, my brief appearance on Melrose Place. Let's do this. That's me volunteering to wear a to wear an electrical glove that is supposed to massage your hand and get rid of arthritis. Here we go. Ready? So there we are. There she blows. That's the thing. Um, you're being electrocuted in all your roles, Paul. Who else did I? Oh yeah, I got electric. That's true. I've had that happen to me a few times. I, um, oh man, I've said this before. And if I ever actually can make the time, I'm going to do a live stream where I'm going to show all five or six of my TV clips. I have a story behind this that is really, really funny. But I don't feel comfortable talking about it now. But it has to do with um, my my. Now you have to tell me well, after this live stream is yeah, over. I'll, I'll tell you, but I can't. I can't put this out yet. I'll do this for just a, you know a, a select group. Or five hundred dollar. Yeah, right. Which, but yeah. I was in a uh, trailer. We were on location for this this thing at some some office building that they had they had gotten, and so. They had trailers. There's more to you than meets the eye. Clement, thank you. What does he say? Uh, your, your reaction, reaction to, to pain, pain got your role. 
<laughs> got you that role in Phantasmagoria too. Good job, my man. No, this was after. It was all my Phantas work that got me this, basically. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I was next door to him. So we were in a trailer, big trailer. They were just partitioned off. And so my little trailer space was next door. I forgot his name to his trailer space. And the story I have to tell has to do with that. And uh, I'm going to share it for another time. But it's it's pretty funny. Uh, but this, you were in a scene with Alyssa Milano. From I was in a scene with Alyssa Milano and this guy right here. Oh, you can't see him. Let me show you. Uh, uh, never mind. Never mind. No, show this, everyone. Not, yeah, I'm showing everybody else. This guy right here. Um, I only did a couple TV spots when I was in L.A. Uh, I did one for uh, Seinfeld that I got cut out of. And I did this. Actually, I did two Seinfelds that I got cut out of. Just small little parts. But... This guy was in both of them. So I of, of the of the um, he also he's the main guy and he's one of the guys uh, in uh, Sex in the City. He has a, a part in that. Um, but uh, of all the things I did, it just turns out that here's this one actor who was in two of the very you know, he was, of all of Hollywood. I did two things with him. All right. Let's get back to the game. Wait, but the Zuki super chatted and you haven't read. Oh, I didn't. Chat. What did she say? Oh, she say. Wait, you no, love I'll it, do, Paul. I'll do. Admit it. I, I love talking about. It's fun to talk about this stuff. I'm not sure I like watching a, my cheesy reaction to a electrical glove, but it's I'm having fun. Okay, I love it. I admit it. Um, let's get back to the game, and boom! All right, restore. Right? No, no, no. Cancel. Cancel. We can go back to the game. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Boy, we were not, we weren't in, we were just like Gabriel. We had like one of those nightmares that took us to a whole new yeah. world. And now, no, okay, good. Now I'm back playing the game. So he's going to help her. Well, let's see what I do. I have a prayer for the Madonna father. You just gave that to me, and now I'm giving it back to you. Why didn't they give him any lines? <laughs> They're clearly going for some comedy here. Bad comedy. It's not really making... Okay. Your watch. Read it. You'll take me when the service is over? Okay. Yes, Father. Um, okay, let's get out of here. So now we'll go back this way. Go this way. I don't know. Okay, there we, okay, now we're going in circles. Okay, so I kind of know where I'm going now. So there's that. There's this. Can't go in there. Uh, what about this way? Done that. Okay, so now. Ah, ha, ha. All right. Um, what are my options? Do you remember our one? goal for, for this chapter? Is that again? We want to get the heart. We got to get the heart. Uh, how do we get to, how do okay, we wait for the heart this? is one part, but if you recall, there are other parts as well. Uh, we want to get, uh, his note and then we want to get those, the, the, Wag, the, the Wagner scores, but that's somewhere else. That's in the, uh, that's in the museum. What else do I need to get? I need to get, um, I don't, I have to, is it here? I have to go, do, did I do, do I have to get out of here and go somewhere else? Yep. Okay, see, I, that's good to know. All right, I have to come back later is what he said. So basically, um, he, I think the only reason I came here for the moment is to get mm -hmm. that piece of that little card and now that I have it, I've been told I have to come back later. So now time to skedaddle. But not there. There we go. If you say so. No? Well, the hint's gone. No. <laughs> okay. You, you need to go to the Neuschwanstein. All right. But first, if you recall, um, we have a few uh, pieces of Wagner's opera, opera to pick up. Yeah. 
Is that is that but here? There are guards over there, and maybe we'll need some distraction. Cuckoo clock. Blinking dust. Close. Close. So here first, right? Is this where I'm going here, right? Or do I? Have... Did yeah. we? Were, were you stopping me from going here so I could get my distraction stuff? What? Yeah, let's get your distraction. Otherwise, we won't finish the game. All right, back here, back to allotting. No, go to Rittersburg. Oh, all right, all right. Back in. Get us off. All right, go back up. It's the only place to go. Mm. That's not where we need to go. Oh, where do we go? Where, where, oh, in Rittersburg, back in, in town? Yeah. Okay. And go visit Gabriel and Gabriel's new friend. Okay, gotcha. Let's go this way. Wait. How do I get out of here? There we go. Doop, 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 doop. And people are correcting us again that it's El Totting. El Totting. El Totting. Okay, gotcha. We're also saying Wagner. I don't think that's the pronunciation. Wagner. It's Wagner. All right, so let's see. I'm going to talk to this dude. This dude meaning Gabriel Knight? No, isn't there like a guy? Oh, I thought maybe it was Mr. Smith. Someone's guarding the... So yeah, it's Mr. Smith, right? Surprising they're not letting me talk to him. He should have some kind of information. By the way, that's why he's not with his wife. That's right. And we, we solved that. Okay. I don't want to disturb him. But I want to give him something. I want to say, hey, what about this thing? Oh, no. Wait, I think you, I think you forgot something. I forgot something. Okay, oh, never mind. What? Look at the window. Well, I'll look out the window. Okay. I'll let you solve that puzzle your, yourself. Well, let me just do what I'm going to... Here, now you just distracted me. So, okay, I'm going to go look out the window. I can't reach the bird through the bars. Aha. So I have a puzzle. This is the puzzle I need to solve. Yeah. I can't reach the bird. I can't reach the bird through the bars. What can what can we give the bird? Right. We don't have that. We don't have we can give him some seed or we can give him some bread. We can okay, where him. where can we get bread? We can go to the, the <laughs> We can go to where the the knockverse lady is. Uh, we can go. Uh, oh, we can get bread from the church and the, if we get a communion wafer. The only place that sells food at the moment is the bar. Go to the bar. Go to the bar. But so weren't I supposed to? So okay, I'm getting confused, and this is where I'm either going to be you telling me what to do, or I just got to wander around and figure stuff out. So, and I'm totally happy doing both. But you had said come here. Go talk to Gabriel, and then you said no. Go no, look I said, in the come window. Here, come here to beat Gabriel's friend. Gabriel's friend, which is the the bird. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but there's nothing to like. If I don't, can I just put like a pillow over Gabriel's head and see how it goes? Yeah, and kill him. Game over. See, that would have been fun. What a... All right. Okay. All right, I want, I'm going to take the next 15 minutes, and this is going to kill all of you. It's going to drive you absolutely insane. But for the next 15 minutes, I'm just going to play this game by myself. I'm just going to play, and I'm going to see what I do, and then just watch how frustrated Daniel's going to get. It is I'll going to go grab my it, pillow. It is going to drive him absolutely insane. But I'm playing for 15 minutes by myself. Okay. Here I go. And no no sort of snarky okay that goes along with it. Just let me it, figure some stuff out. Up, up, up. I'll mute myself. You should. All right. Werner looks about as interested in... I think I'll steal one of these rolls. Please do, dear. You're thin as a rail. <laughs> And here's the here's my question to myself: How long is it going to be before? I'm just wondering if I can throw the bread at her. 
no no all right fine um how long is it going to be can i last 15 minutes <laughs> without asking daniel to come in so it might even be harder for me than for him this will be this will be good i had this idea too that when we finish this game up because you know we have some slots to fill we lost um we lost uh no don't go reading a book reading um we uh one thing i think that might be kind of fun like i do it on wednesdays a little bit but it might be fun to play one of your all favorite games of all time in this realm and just let and i just play it and i just flounder my way through it with and i just don't even look at the chat and you just get to watch me get completely and totally lost all right here we go Daniel, you you texting in the background is that that is distracting. All right. Close up of hands. Is it a homing pigeon? Does it have a a little note? Okay, come on. Look at that, he's getting some, uh, he's getting some work done. Gotcha, you little pigeon. All right. I might be able to get the bird now, but I need something to put it in. I know what to put it in. I'm going to put it on that. Thanks, Grace. Grace, you're a nicer hint keeper than that Daniel is. Uh-oh. There's more to you than meets the eye. Oh, James. Thank you, man. I want to see Paul getting lost in a random video game. Oh. It's all right. You're just going to help me out for a bit, and then you'll be free. Oh, she looked a little evil there at the end. She looked a, she's just going to help me out, and then you'll be free. You want to see me get lost in a random video game? Well, this will be a good, this is going to be a good sort of preview for what that's like because now I don't know what to do. I have a pigeon and I need to use it, but I don't know how. Um, how many minutes has it been? Uh, what do I do now? Pigeon. Pigeon seems to be doing okay in there. All right, good. Glad the pigeon's doing well. But why and what do I need it for? I just left there. I'm not going there. I can mail it. The post office is closed. <laughs> oh no. Who's gonna, I feel like I'm gonna lose this battle of wills. Homing pigeon. It's a home. It's a pigeon. Oh, I'm going to put a note on it. Do I put a note on it? Wait, I just clicked the pigeon on her. Am I exiting? I didn't want to exit. Let's go back. What? That was. So I did this. Oh, that's an exit. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> I'm, gonna... I'm not sure why she'd want to see that. Yeah, I don't think so. I didn't mean that. Get us up. Okay. Is there a reason to go up here? Uh, oh, I guess maybe I can just go. But would I take the pigeon in the car with me? And take the pigeon. Why do I need a pigeon? There's no reason to go up here, is there? Oh, look at that. Look at Daniel just being all funny. He's going to just, he's going to get, get a, I can, I can turn your camera off, dude. There's nothing in the secret passage right, so that could help me more. now. All right. All right. So I got to get to, uh, I guess I have to go to the map. Let's see what I need to do. I'm a victim too. <laughs> Corporal Hicks, 
Go for it, Paul. 15 minutes on the clock. But remember, the puzzles are hard sometimes. Good to see everybody in another stream. Lupus, lupus. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. All right. Um, how many minutes has it been, by the way? All right, let's go. All right. Hint it up. Rittersburg still has stuff that I don't have yet. So I need to do something with that pigeon before I leave. But I don't know. I'm going to just go check something out. <laughs> I have a pigeon in my pocket. All right. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to go pick up some. Uh, go pick up some stuff. According to Gabriel, Ludwig was arrested at that door. Well, he never did make it to the tower, so I guess I don't need to worry about what's up there. Okay, I guess not. Can't remember. Can't remember where everything is. There's a blue room. Oh, I remember the blue room is over here. And I go in there, right? Yeah, there's something. Ah, no. It seems like Robert Holmes's music is kind of mocking me. Since since Daniel muted himself, something needed to be mocking me, and so I think it's Robert Holmes's music. So there's no nothing to see here. Oh, there we go. What's that? No. I wish I could have seen these three. Yeah. I thought there was something here. Maybe not. Look at this. Something new. I stumbled upon something. All right, let's go check out these. Wait, am I seeing a flashback? What is this? Oh, is that? Is that like a. That had to be like some kind of a. That had to be some sort of cameo from a Sierra person and their and their kid. Who I'm confused. Ooh. I don't think I need to move the table. No, but there's <laughs> I'll never get away with it while there's a guard in the room. Got to get the guard out of the room. All right, so I'm in the right spot. What is this thing anyway? I don't think Okay. These okay. More swans. Yeah, there's a lot of swans. All right. Okay, Daniel, come on back. Talk me through some stuff. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Paul. <laughs> How long was it? Did I did I last fifteen? Okay, I have a new episode of Guess Who. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> All right, what do I do? Where do I go? Okay, first of all, you saw the, the scene with the child. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna... This scene is supposed to give you a hint that we're gonna... Um, oh, distract the child. Distract the guard with the child. Something oh. like that. So... Now, let, let's go to, to El Taring. Okay. So we're getting out of that. Now, if I can only get out of here, I don't remember. Take on a couple of exits. We'll get there. Where are you, exits? There's only one exit. That one? No, I guess this is the only exit. Who? She wanders around. Nothing I can do here. Okay. All right. So she. she how do I get the hell out of here? I've exit. 
on the left. On the left. Oh, I just did. Yeah. Okay. Then at the bottom, which is weird there because it looks ah. as if you're coming from there. Yep. Oh. I was just in the same spot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting closer to getting out. Grace Nakamura. Grace Nakamura. There we go. Whew. Okay. Okay. Let's go to. El Tarring. El Tarring. There we go. I bet you the, the prayer is over. It's not. Oh, crap. Can I get rid of my pigeon here? By the way, she, when you went to Schloss Ritter, she removed her coat, right? When what? I was muted, she removed her coat. She didn't? Yeah, well, when she got into Schloss Ritter, she always does. Yeah. Which means she left it there with the pigeon. Now I got it right here. On the coat rack. No, I mean, when she removed the coat. She left the pigeon on the coat rack. Yeah. Okay. Go to the priest. I think the priest is here. But I can't go in there, so I go. There's more to you than meets the eye. Oh. Hello. James. All right, Jenkins. I think you can be a whiz at Altating. You can really lose control. Ooh. All right. Well, I've, I've, I've never okay. had what, control. What's, what's there on the table? All right, let's find out. Spending. Mary's water. It looks like they want a donation. Do I have any money? Yeah. It's time to spend then your money. Oh my god. My wallet. Do I get to open it? My wallet. All right. So it's I not converted like... some cash to marks at the airport. Right, okay, good enough. I don't give I don't open it up like Curtis. There we go. Vodka. Who's drinking vodka? Oh yeah, it looks like a little uh, little travel bottle. Eh, give me three more. Okay, so I got that. Uh, so I gathered some more stuff. Why do I need this? We find out later. I still can't get in here. Can I? No. No. I better wait until the services. No, I still. I talked to him. Okay, so we saw understood. we saw a scene with the child, right? Yeah, we saw a scene with the child. Okay. We got water. We got some water. Oh, now I'm going to throw some water on the child. I'm going to make a Molotov cocktail. No, that, that's child abuse. Yeah. Let's try something else. Uh, do I want to go? Is, did I get what I need here? Yeah. I'm going back. For to, now. I'm going back to the place. Go back to the chair. Where the kid okay. played. All right, here we go. It's good to have you back, Daniel. Good to be back. Yeah. Here it is. Isn't this the spot? Yep. Okay. Now I'm gonna. Now, now do your thing. I'm gonna take out some water. And I'm going to drink mm -hmm. it. Yeah, drink it on the table, on the <laughs> chair. All right. Oh, my goodness. No, that's just the person coming. <laughs> I just read Magic Herring's. Uh, I, throw water I don't you? think the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. Glad to hear that Paul finally is getting the hang of 90s adventure game logic. Let's throw water on the child and make a Molotov. Yeah, let's come to that. All right, so let's see. I, whatever I'm doing has to be done in this room. No, you can do that now that the guard left. Do, do what I just do something with the... Water on the chair. On the chair. On the chair. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
How did any of you figure this out? I mean, come on. Because we tried everything and everything. Shut again, Sibita. The kinder. Ich hole etwas. Um es auszuwischen. Oh, Roy. I get it. I get it. The little boy peed on the thing, and now I can go. Oh, which room am I in? I can't remember. Over here, I Man, think. ruining historical exhibits while blaming a child. Yeah, oh, but she's still here. Well done, Grace. I don't think and the guards the thing that up until now, we thought that Grace hit rock bottom in chapter two. But the guard's here. I thought I got rid of the guard. No. Wasn't that the point? Get rid of the guard. Yeah. Get rid of the guard in the other room. Well, I, th 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 I have to get rid of this guard too, right? Go back there. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so now she's cleaning that chair. So go to the next room. Okay. Okay. Uh, this way? No. No? So I walk by her. She wants me to go th this way. Okay. Now do you remember where that... Where um, Ludwig hid the opera here? In it's, this room? It's in like a... It's at the no, bottom of the floor. But and in the middle, between the, the doorways. Oh there's right, a panel at the bottom. Right. Dang. Like the panel. I did it. Okay. Yeah, I'm really starting to get the hang of this now. Just just for fifteen minutes or so I felt a little wonky, but now I feel like I kinda know everything. Yeah, you got the hang of everything. <laughs> Wagner Opera number one. Your coat isn't that big. As big as Gabriel's. You're not going to be able to fit everything. Okay, so now that's one. I got to go to some other buildings to get the other stuff, right? It's not all in the same building. Or is it? Other buildings? Oh, well, where's the... Um... I was trying to think of the, the Wagner Museum. I was thinking that was one too. Uh, so okay. I want to continue. Check yeah, I go, don't think go. the guards would be sympathetic to my cause. All right. Boy, when they want the guard to move, they tell you that you are not. I know that the pigeon. <laughs> Rara Pass says, oh no, the pigeon will eat the opera. <laughs> That's true. You can't leave a pigeon with an opera in a pocket. Oh, that's great. All right, I got to get rid of you. How do I get yeah. rid of you? Let's I... wait for her to leave. Oh, just hang out? Is that it? Yeah. All right. Patience is a virtue, Paul. All right. Who do... Really? I don't think it's going to happen. So basically, she stole a, bi a pigeon and she blamed the child. And we're not even halfway through this chapter. Means well done, Grace. Well, she's not leaving. So this is a long wait. Is there something I should be doing here? Oh, give you a pigeon. Mm, I don't Bay think her. that would work here. Oh, 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 I see a, a sand glass. All right, let's go. Oh, get rid of that thing. I don't need it. Let's click. I don't think I need to ah. move the table. Oh, there's a thing down below. I remember this. Do I have to click it or are you just going to move it for me? All right. Yes. How can you pixel hunt in court, says Clement. So that's two. How many were there? There are three. Five. There are only three? Okay. Three. And the third one's in the under the red under the red.
painting. This thing over here. No, maybe not that one, but there was a red painting. These linens look these linens look seriously expensive right. and seriously old. Basically, Dan said, I think Adventure Game Logic made me a Canis, better lawyer. Lupus, lupus. <laughs> Which is why Clement said, how do you pixel hunt in court? Gotcha. James, so sad I won't be able to join next week. Getting my super chats uh -huh. in now. Ah, oh, James, thank you so much for... Cancel this. your plans. Yeah, come on, man. It's going to be... Well, of course, it'll take us another few weeks because of all of Dan's... Of all of Daniel's Who Am I Now's. Which takes up the bulk of these. All right. Uh, I want to get to that other room. I have another room with a painting, right? So let's go this way. Um, this way? Is it here? Aha. Nope. Nope. But there was another painting. Yeah, it was in the big room with the paintings. The big room with the paintings. Uh, not in here. Next to the exit. Next to the exit. Okay. The other exit. Yeah. This one. So I saw that. Oh, I guess I have to go down this way. Is there another exit? Uh, James is filming a project for the BBC in Jamaica. I'll trade you. That sounds awesome. Man, fantastic. You should um, film a project for the BBC in Rittersburg, which doesn't exist, but, you know. Um, so that's a painting. I can't use that. There's nothing. No. Where's the stupid painting? No, go the other way. This way? There are two exits. There's, there's, there's this one yeah. and this one. Right? Those are my only two. Yeah. This one? The bottom one. Okay. Yeah. That's where I just was. And then go, go back. to the room. To the room. Okay. And go to the exit. This one? The exit that actually leads you somewhere. Yeah. And take the other exit. Uh, that there? Yeah. Oh, wow. I've been in here for a while. Great. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. Nice view, of the Alps. nice view indeed. Um, painting. These paintings do represent. Wolf, rare wolf. Aha. So these paintings. It was under a red painting. It was like a someone. It was a red. Yeah. Look like a dress or something. Hallway might is it in this room? Simple. Adjoining yep. hallway. It's in this room. It's in this room, but you have a guard and he won't leave. Oh, not unless I just sit around and do nothing. Oh, no, I got to throw a pit. Ah, pigeon. I'm going to throw a pigeon in here. This is my. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at you. You got to be kidding me. Do it on him? Hmm. Hmm. Not a bad idea, but if I let the pigeon loose in here, it won't help me much. Okay, all right. You and Grace and I were working together here. All right, so I'm going to do the pigeon. Maybe Grace should be your hint, hint keeper. She is very helpful, for sure. Unlike me. Mm. Well, I would never. I never thought I'd say this, but Grace is nicer than you. No, I'm kidding. That was a bad joke. Dumb joke. I was trying to make a comment on how smart Well, at least I'm nicer than Grace in chapter two. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, I know. This, um, you're nicer than Grace. Okay, so let's see. I was. I just went in here. You're in the correct room. I was in the correct room. You but had I, the correct solution. You just needed to use the pigeon somewhere else. Not so in, that. Not, hiya, not in this hiya. room. Maybe though, right? in a different view of this room. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. I can do it over here. I got you. I'm going to let the pigeon out here. Clement, at last, you start to think like a true point and click gamer. Glad to know we corrupted you enough. Am I? Am I? I feel like I'm, I'm not. I'm, I feel like yeah, I'm. Yeah, the fact that you uh, thought about using the pigeon. Okay. All right. That's good. I, I'll, I'll take that. I think I probably should be farther along than I am now, but uh, I appreciate your, all your support. Because in real life, if you have a pigeon, 
in your Letting coat. Letting go out there wouldn't do much good. Yeah. But... Go to the hospital to check if you got salmonella or something. Aha. Uh, well done. Here we go. She brings out the Wagner score and it's all bitten up and chewed and completely ruined. It would be hilarious if it was just a dead pigeon <laughs> completely suffocated in her pocket. Here we go. She must have had a blast. This is a big... Oh, I guess that wasn't a real pigeon. I was hoping to actually... was. In her hand? I don't think it was in her hand. Ah, this big line. He had a lot, he had more words than I did in Melrose Place. <laughs> the director Will was saying that they they would sometimes shoot like 15, 20 pages a day. They were just cranking it out. They had so little time to get all this stuff. So now I need to get to a painting. Yeah. And that allows me, and it was red. I don't know where the red painting is. I still don't know where I'm going. Um, well, it's in this room. These paintings. Yeah, I know. Maybe try clicking the panels because it was at the, it was in the panel at the bottom. Ah. So click the pan. Did I lose him? No, he's, he's still there. Do I got to get rid of so, him again? No. Okay. Uh, Go switch to the other view. Okay. I don't see and it it's one of these panels here. At the bottom. Pixel hunt ball. Pixel hunt. There we go. Did it. I'll bet newer games are are less confusing. They're probably just so as what, hard. What but... happens in, in usual, usually in uh, new adventure games is that you have a button that shows you all of the hotspots in that particular scene. So you know what you can click. That sounds like so, a good thing. Is that a good thing? Do gamers like that? Or is it like too, you're telling me well, too much? New gamers like that. And, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> classic you... gamers one... might use that. Yeah. Because who has time to pixel hunt? The nowadays? classic gamers have uh, I've spent a lifetime realizing how many insane choices are out there and they kind of hey he did it he had the real pigeon and he he pulls out a gun and <laughs> all right so i got everything i need maybe this is your new boyfriend um all right i got stuff i got all three of them no reason for me to hang out anymore Can't go this way, huh? Doink, doink, doink. I achieved the Wagner Opera. Werewolf. Werewolf? Werewolf. Nice. Thank you, James. Boy, you've been incredibly kind today. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, all right, I just want to get out of here. I think I need to get out of here. If I can remember how to get out of here. No, I'm going to go back in that. <laughs> I get lost every single time. You can exit the, the castle from the, the big room that we were in. Yeah. And have an exit. Yeah, have an exit over there. Now I got to go back? No, I don't know how to go back. Wherever I am. I always get lost in a way that leaves you in the middle of the castle. Yeah, I, either way, I'm in the middle. All right, how do I... I, I don't need to get in there. I'm sorry. Isn't there an exit over here? There's no exit over here. There's only one. Oh, there it is. There's a lion at the watering hole. Suki. Operatic happiness level achieved. We shall see about that. Uh... I don't know how to get out. I never know how to get out of this stupid. I just went in a circle. Exit, exit. Yeah, in the on the left. No, no. On the left. <laughs> oh, I'm getting out. I'm figuring it out. I did it. Yeah. Well done. Well done. 
I did it on my own. I am becoming a point and click gamer. Um, oh my gosh, it's two o'clock already. All right. Um, I can do 30 more minutes. Can you do 30 okay. more minutes? Yep. Okay. This is, I'm, I'm, I might get in trouble. So if I have to cut it quick, then you guys know. Um, all right, let's go. Okay. So stuff. your first idea in this chapter was to go to the church and that's the correct idea. Now go to the church. All right, I'll take that. I like hearing that I had the right idea. Not that church. Oh, oh, the church, <laughs> the church. Right, right, right. That's ah, but I, that's a church too. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. The man says that we won't finish this game, and he is correct. Oh no, we weren't planning on finishing it today. I don't. I thought we not thought today, that not we ever <laughs> says the says the man who takes up forty minutes of uh, James, dude. I, I'm flabbergasted. Thank you so much. That is Thank really you, James. man. You're being incredibly generous. Um, but you know what? I also just realized you're going to Jamaica, so so uh, I don't know what that means, but I'm I'm envious. All right, let's go on in. Um, so there's nothing in here except for the, the, in there, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, if you recall, when Gerda was mourning, oh, this is she new. was looking at this. Well, this tells us this is a new image, so we're gonna get a scene here. Click it. Click it. Those look better. They do look better. Those look better. Click it somewhere else. Yeah. That silver heart reminds me of the silver penitent gifts at Altotting. Hmm. Silver penitent gifts. I can't. Uh, I think it's just loading, right? Is it loading? No, it's not loading anything. So basically, this is the heart that you need to take. This is Gerda is the one who placed it there. Uh, You're gonna to need to ask for permission to take it. I gotta go talk to Gerda. Okay. So I have to go here, find something, leave, ask somebody if I can take it, then come back. This must have. I mean, you guys are gluttons. I want to say hi to her again. I don't. Oh, James. Go James her. gave us thirty dollars for the thirty more minutes. And oh, is that what he said? You're playing. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, man. 30, 30 bucks for 30 minutes. That's awesome. Man, we... We're going to play for five more hours. Oh, <laughs> we blew our guard. That was just really amazing. You guys are... Um, bu -bu -bu. All right, let's go talk to Gerda, who I'm going to talk to next week. All right, I've got some stuff. Gerda, I have something to ask you. It's really awful. What is it? You know the silver heart you got for Wolfgang's casket? Yes. I need if it. If I paid you to have another one made, do you think I could take the one at St. George's? Oh, this music says she's going to say yes. It's for Gabriel, isn't it? Yes. Easiest puzzle Take in the it. game. Yes! Wolfgang will understand. I solved this one all by myself. Thank you so much, Gerda. We should take that, that part when she says it's for Gabriel, isn't it? And use that as a widget. Every time somewhere, someone super chats, it's for Gabriel, isn't it? All right, well, let's do that. We have probably five or six more streams to go through Yeah, this, we so. have, yeah, yeah, probably seven. What were we gonna do a week? Oh, we have, uh, we have the watch party, right? For yeah. uh, next set, uh, so we'll figure it out. I mean, no one is complaining about how long we're taking <laughs> to get through this game. Everybody's having fun. We're all having a good time. We'll all be sorry when it's done. How do I get it? Do I just get to pick it up? It's all I needed was permission. Yeah. Let's say hi to her first. I don't want to oh, disturb. Man. 
I if, would it, love if this it. would have been chapter two, she would have just picked it up. Yeah. Those look that's better. true, Gerda. Oh, now I, I find it. Uh, no, don't do that. Come back. Uh, oh, man. Now I'm not going to be able to find the stupid thing. Here can re Is there an exit? No. There we go. Oh, it's over here. There we go. She could have just taken Thanks, it. Gerda. Oh, they had to do a voiceover. Okay. That was that was added in post. Yep. What did you say at the end? Thanks, Gerda. What? I wasn't listening. Somebody tell me what she said. All right, so I got that. Here's what I got. I got me a heart. I got Wagner's Opera. I got, I think I've used this already, but it looks like I'll, if I still have it, that means I probably need it again. Maybe the service is over. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. That's what I'm thinking, Daniel. You and I are thinking alike. Yeah. Would you have wanted uh, to be able to just to zoom to whatever location or did you guys like having to, like what I'm doing right now, I have to go all the way through town Get in the car. Oh, this is this is considered fast walking. In the past, you had to wait for the characters to go uh, across the screen to a different room. So this was this was like huge improvement over the earlier stuff. Yeah, in Sierra games, you had the um, in the settings you could change the speed of the character, but in LucasArts games, uh, it wasn't available. So you had to wait for the character to finish its walking. And by the end of 95, they started adding double click to get to a certain location. So you could double click. <laughs> Jay just wrote, she opens up the heart and it's full of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Joe Robertson writes, Gerda says, Grace, go carve the heart from the sausage lady. And scene. <laughs> and scene. I think it makes it more immersive. And the man said that there's a backup talisman inside, a plastic backup talisman inside where inside the heart oh well we'll see if that's true um can i, can I look at it um i probably can go to el tarring well i'm just reading uh, ed's ed sward s sward uh i think it makes it more immersive as opposed to just teleporting from one screen to another it certainly does i mean if you're playing it again i'm playing it with daniel and there's 50 something people watching and there's a sense of like let's move things on but i know that if i was playing this by myself maybe really... correct it, it let me just finish this thought certain i i'm just yeah. saying that it would be fun i think i would enjoy the I, I do like the immersive kind of feeling of just kind of being able to wander around and take your time so there's something about that that for whatever reason i do i do enjoy sorry go ahead yeah but the problem with that is that you know in this game don't have a lot of walking to do from one location to the other but there are, there were adventure games in which sometimes you'd wonder if you need to go to a certain location because you'd have to walk like a minute to get there oh really wow yeah um can i that didn't decide that i was i able to look at this gear this silver morning heart for wolfgang okay that's it good to know there's no talisman in there. Are you done? Hey, they are done. Oh, I got a whole new room. I got that person. I got that thing to click on. That whole area. I got Mr. Jesus Christ on a cross. I got, is that just one big thing? There's another person. There is, is this a confessional? Oh my gosh, it's so many things. What do I, where do I even start? All right, let's start left to right. Let's talk to the woman. I don't want to disturb her. Oh, she doesn't like to disturb anybody in church. The Madonna must be in that inner mm. shrine. The Madonna. I'm not sure I can go back there by myself. I need someone to help me. Okay, so that's a clue. Yeah. The did walls we meet are covered before? with silver penitent offerings. Okay, I've got the offering thing. I got the penitent offerings. Oh, I can give the heart. All right, that's good to know. The walls are covered with silver penitent offerings. All right, all right. The walls are covered with. Okay. 
the walls. Okay, go to the priest. I want to. This is where I want. I love seeing if there's more stuff. What about this person? I don't. By the way, Matt said reminds me of reminds me of Marion Platts when you have to walk from left to right and right to left. Now, if you recall, we started using the the skip cursor in order to skip it. Mm -hmm. So maybe walking for long periods of time is not that immersive, but annoying. Yeah, I think that there's a happy medium. Yeah, if, you, if they were to make these games, they, how cool would it have been had had you know um, the FMV genre had it not stopped after a couple of years? Had it continued for whatever reason, it really took off and it became like it could have become you know the, the advancements in this game, this type of game would be through the roof it would be so amazing had they you know had it been profitable and uh opened the doors to other other things i would oh and but i mentioned this in my stream the other day on, uh when i was playing inside daniel have you heard of this this youtuber mark markapiler mark markapiler yeah and the the interactive adventure have you seen any of his stuff nope it's I mean, it's super, it's, it's unbelievable. It's so good. It's like movie quality and it's very funny, very, you know, it may not be everybody's, uh, I only seen the one it's called heist, but he does, it's a YouTube video and he creates a choose your own adventure by using YouTube's algorithms by like, he'll do five minutes and then he'll let two unlisted videos show up and you get to choose which one is next. And he just takes you down all of these crazy roads and it's funny and surprising and there's like 31 different endings and you have to go back and so he's creating a you know one of these types of games just by using youtube it's really really good all right enough enough he doesn't need my can i go in here now give him something oh okay yeah oh what happened they kicked me out don't kick me out oh that's give him the something. other one. yeah give him something i'm gonna give him this thing again I probably have to give him the heart. I don't want to give him the heart, but I will. I'd like to make a prayer, Father. Well, this is new. Well done, Paul. Hey, I did it. You could have solved this puzzle in two ways. You could have given him the heart or the stupid card. I gave him the stupid card. What uh, would I have lost the heart if I gave it to him? Nope. Okay. Well, she's, she's just being pretty handsy. Yeah, he's, he's being awful. Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah. He's a priest. <laughs> Here we go. What's up with his celibacy? <laughs> this is just so bizarre. This. What was the reason behind the mute Behind being the so handsy? Monk. Or... Okay. New room. Stuff. Things to click on. If I could get away with moving that chair, I could reach the urns. Urns are up there. The heart urns. I think I know which one is Ludwig's, but how am I going to get it down? I think I know which one is Ludwig's. How do I know which one's Ludwig's, Ludwig's? But how am I going to get it down? It's probably the big one. She I knows. Think I... She knows, but I don't. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, this, this, I have to say, uh, this is... I'm having fun. This is this is I'm getting into this game now. It's uh I want to know what happens. Well, um, it's ending in like five <laughs> or six episodes. So, I need to get something. Well, there's there more stuff. No. Can I click on him? He's praying for me. Okay. Good. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Darn right. Me too, Grace. <laughs> um all right. So, I've got stuff. I've got, I guess I've got the heart. I got to put the heart somewhere. Oh, I have a talisman too. I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna move the chair. There's gotta be some way to move the chair. Um, yeah, there must be. But do I? There's no. I don't have a pigeon. I don't. Ha I can throw. I'm not gonna throw. Give him some money. How do I move the chair? Maybe there's another thing in this in this room. Maybe there's another hot spot. If I could get away with moving that chair. Okay. Done that. 
Okay, all right, all right, nothing there. So where's the other hot spot? That's an exit. Come on, candle. I can burn the place down. I got this. It's the I'm lady about too. potting. <laughs> James, check. Is it breezy in here or is it just me? All right, something. Is there a fan? You're giving, Desmagoria? You're giving me a hint, but I still don't. Can I go this way? Well, no one said I could go this way. Maybe, maybe ah. you can place the silver heart somewhere. All right. How do I get back to where he took me in here? Oh, there we go. Silver heart. Silver heart. I'm going to put it on the chair. Now? Yeah, we're never going to finish this game. Well, what would, how would you guys know what to do? None of you knew. None of you knew. I just, you're pretending like you all knew this right away and how, how silly it is that I don't know. I need to, I mean, think about it. I need to move a chair and here, and I have a silver heart. And so how, how does that make logical sense that I have to find some? And you, you also have a doorway on the right over there. Yeah. If I see correctly. I think that door leads outside. Well, also perspective is insane. I thought we had come this way. I thought that was the way we were coming from. I think that door leads outside. How do I get outside? Use my keys? My... I'm Okay, tell me. Just tell me. Place the heart. On the Beside the basket. Beside the basket? That's beside the priest. What? It's on the right side of the altar. This thing? I think the box is for penitent offerings. Oh, for frick's sake. Come on, this is just... Okay, I don't like this game anymore. I thought I liked it. I don't. It's a dumb game. But I just got it. There's your magic. Oh, there's gonna be magic. Wow. Who are these people? Take this gift. I'll find them for next week's episode. I Boy, really know why I'm we'll here. never get through this game. I apologize for even thinking of violating your shrine. But you know I need to get what's inside Ludwig's urn. I think you want me to help him and Gabriel. Gabriel may be egotistical and selfish, but he's got a good heart, I think. Anyway, he doesn't deserve this I curse. Think. Help me help both of them. Please. Well, just as long as you say please. She asked nicely. Ooh. Yeah. It's getting breezy. James. I can talk. I can see. I can hear. I'm young again. All right, all right. Now I can move the chair and get out that door. Everything's working. Let's go outside. Maybe you should do it the other I way hope around. This works. I did the chair. I did the door first. So maybe that was the other way around. Whoa. It is getting breezy. I only have a few seconds. Uh, okay, get the chair. Go, throw it out the door. Don't get up. Which one is his? Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, uh, I don't know that one. Uh, oh no, I double clicked something. Can I go back? No, I can't just go back. Took, no. Ah. You just opened the uh, urn and took the diagram out of it. Did I take the right urn? It's fine, yeah. Uh, you're so disappointed. You're so sad. No. I'm sad. No, don't be sad. Let's watch the scene. All right. Oh, look at that smile. What did she... Oh, she's giving him the Wagner. Yeah. All right, let's save. Can we save? 
two months later. This is like the 24 hours later at the end of Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's going on? Two months later? What? Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Gabriel is dying a minute. Month. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I got to save this thing. Uh, I will go back. Uh, opera opening. Um, we'll, I'll go back. We'll find this scene that I missed and then we'll play it next week. I, I sometimes double click because it doesn't seem like the movie is being activated or that I've done the right thing. And so, sorry. Um, but what did I miss? Tell me what, what, what happened. Well, she took out the diagram out of the urn and that's the scene. That's it. So we just saw her take a diagram out of the urn. And then they relight the, they relight the candles. So yeah. And no one noticed that she did it. So I picked the right urn because there's, were there other urns? Of yeah, my... the others are in hot spots. Oh, they're not. So you only had one chance. Okay. So I was hoping, yep. I thought maybe I was impressed with myself. Like, hey, I picked the right one. I... So we all picked it's the like right one. It's like the Holy Grail. We all, the jumps. The water, right? we all picked the right one. James Jenkins, you are the superstar of today. And I can't thank you enough for your, your generous support of this silly project that we are doing here. <laughs> uh, we're going to get our opera on. You know, I think this is the time. This seems like the perfect time. I know I said it another 30 minutes, but, but it feels like I don't want to get It feels like two months. I don't want to get into this opera uh at the end of i think we need to start our next session with that so i'm we've saved we're good i'm gonna start to uh um wrap things up wrap things up so i'm gonna get away from this here we are i'm gonna turn the game off i'm not gonna stop share oh i do that and okay 281 dollars gosh that is crazy you guys that's the most we've ever made on a on a game thank you so much and thank you guys and i hope uh i hope my brilliant work on melrose place was was worth it um <laughs> we can we can auction off my uh a, a little longer scene on drew carey next time so i yep. actually i actually have a, a little a scene. few lines yeah that's a i can tell a story about that one that isn't um <laughs> as embarrassing as the one i'm not telling you now but uh, okay, it's it's been a great session. I think we probably have two more to go before we finish up. Two or three. Really? <laughs> There's that much left? No, I always say at the end of each episode yeah. that we have two or three yeah. episodes left. So It'll be two or three. Um, and all, it's all up to Daniel. Depends on how much, who am I he wants to do beforehand. We could just start right at 12. Um, Daniel, thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, everyone. All right, have a great uh, weekend. We'll talk to you soon. All right, uh, thank you guys very much, and James Jenkins and Clement and anybody and, and Zuki, anybody who gave, uh, and and folks on Twitch, uh, anybody Corporal Hicks, folks that gave anything today, uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun, and we'll be back uh, next Friday to see what happens at the opera. Meanwhile, please um, keep an eye out tomorrow for the Conversations with Curtis video newsletter. Sunday will be our conversation with Matt Van Roon of Big Finish Games. We'll do a YouTube premiere of that. And then, uh, and then next week, we have other stuff, and we'll talk about that later. But uh, meanwhile- And Jen Jensen. Jane Jensen. And Jane Jensen uh, is gonna be available right now five minutes from now oh actually it's been i it, i scheduled it so it's anybody's on patreon you can watch the jane jensen interview right now it's been scheduled or it was posted all right guys have a great weekend it's a pleasure and uh we'll, we'll see you soon all right bye bye thank you to the patreon members as well